Uh, but we talked about a lot of things. And I said earlier that uh, now we're on this new channel, new platform, you know, no censorship. You, Andre, could say whatever you want and you, know, you don't have to worry about swearing. Um, but of course, there's a lot of things that we, um, I, I still post short clips on YouTube. Um, so we're going to talk about lockdown. And <laughs> just in case <laughs> if I post a short clip, don't worry, I, I can still censor it myself or edit it out. But lockdown right now, extensions, and we are getting close to the end. They might do it again. They might not do it again. Um, what's happening? Because you, a couple of months ago, a few months ago, you completely gave up. You said, I'm just not going to follow the rules publicly. Uh, have you been in trouble uh, or have you been approached by the authorities or are you just fine? <laughs> Well, the only, the only thing that happened, so a couple of days after I publicly declared that I was no longer observing the lockdown, um, and, and actually it has been difficult. I'll tell you why it's been difficult, because um, really, if all the pubs are shut or whatever, there's not a great deal you can do. And it's, you know, I, I've got one of those um, sunshine things that says that I'm, I've got an illness that exempts me from wearing a mask, but actually I quite often can't remember it when I go out <laughs> and that sort of thing. But um, the police did actually come to, to my house um, wow. But 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 actually, I'm fairly certain that they were just knocking door to door for it some reason. Thing, yeah. um, because they didn't because, I, you know, I didn't open the door because I thought, oh, God, what, what am I going to say to them? But they've never been back since. So I don't know whether they were going to have a go at me or whether it was just pure coincidence. But but I actually I don't know if you well you do know this, but others won't. I live in what effectively is the Windsor secure zone where mm. they've got all the CCTV just in case anyone attacks the castle. So it's not that unusual for random special branch people to turn up and royalty protection. So it could easily just be something related to that. But um but I think the lockdown, we've got a real problem because it is overwhelmingly popular. Every opinion poll says that people absolutely love it. Every time there's an extension, people whoop and jump for joy. I think I agree with what Chris Whitty was saying. I think that they will look at an annual lockdown against the flu absolutely every single year, perhaps in December. I think that I think you can forget uh, them getting rid of masks on public transport. And by the way, they're so oppressive. I mean, I have to go from Slough to London, um, which, uh, or from Windsor to London, depending on which train I get. You know, that can take up to an hour. You see that boring thing like Darth Vader. It's appalling, right? But I mean, I don't do it. But if, if you were to do that, I, I actually observe the, the rule where they say, uh, if you're eating or drinking, you don't have to use it. So I get a few cans of Pims and lemonade and get quietly sloshed, um, which, which they do allow you to do. <laughs> I, th I think you're right in terms of... Uh... Uh, the annual one uh, you might not have it like shut down the economy sort of thing stay at home but the way it's going because um the the first campaign by the media and the establishment was so successful in terms of fear that uh, there have been a lot of interviews uh, on the streets with people uh, who are still wearing masks outside they, they just feel more comfortable it's just that comfort zone it's, it's that fear uh, that uh, i think you're right that you might have a situation where every year for a period like a season a couple of months where they say this is now the season of wearing masks again like mm. when you go out or this is the season where uh, restaurants it's... have to do uh, social distancing sitting down all that stuff you might not it's... do a proper full lockdown but yeah you might have a situation where this happens this nonsensical uh, measure that doesn't really work anyway but yeah yeah, look, the, the, there are some things that are just a public health thing that happens annually. Well, yeah. I, I, just off the top of my head, uh, sending sending nurses into school to inspect uh, mm. primary school children's health, yeah. right, for, 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 for lice, right? It's just something that now happens. I think that the, the lockdown will become a public health weapon that they will deploy on a regular basis. And I think because there is such thing as seasonal flu, and remember... Mm. Um, rightly or wrongly, the statistics say that the lockdown eradicated seasonal flu uh, in December. Yeah. I think they will turn around and say, look, this is something that we can do every single year. It'll save X number of lives. And, yeah. and of course, what they won't do is they won't talk about the mental health damage that's done to young people. They won't talk about the fact that 120 million extra people are on the verge of starvation due to the economic turndown. Yeah. They won't talk about the fact the OECD says the developing world is really in trouble. Don't care about that because basically yeah. it's just public sector workers on fixed income saying if it saves one life, it'll be worth it. There's no balance. <laughs> now, there's, there's a lot that we've discussed uh, on this issue, uh, especially when it comes to the C word or the lockdown stuff. Uh, on this show, we can't really post the full version because it gets censored or removed or shadow banned. Uh, so if you want to watch the full version and the uncensored version, then go to my2c.co.uk. Uh, also, for a lot of you who've been uh, trying to join as a member on our new channel uh, to watch the full shows and have access to everything else, uh, we've also introduced the annual payment option. Uh, so a lot of you said that you don't really want to give your card details on a monthly basis, uh, but you can now uh, do a 
one-off annual payments around 30 pounds and you have access to everything from the daily shows the sunday interviews uh, the daily news articles uh, the forum that we're actually going to basically rebuild uh, the discord that we used to have we now have a private discord which we're going to actually basically put on the forum page and also a lot of other benefits that we have on our community on the new channel so if you want to watch the full version and have access to everything you could just do one annual payment one off and then you have access to all of that